even during during church. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, Val wrote all this. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, "Here, play this to this song here." And I'd never heard the song. You. Know, yeah. And I stood up in the back of a pickup truck uh -huh. last week and, and played it. And, <laughs> and so. I had a pickup truck. <laughs> that's beautiful, isn't it? That, yeah. I really think that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to have that old truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have one like that. I didn't. We didn't know what we had until we got rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> You have to pay attention because I sing it pretty fast, even though I play it slow, because there's a lot of words in here. Yeah. Down where I was born was heaven on earth, little green creek washed the Illinois dirt, sunset flow and stars shine bright. We raised cows and sheep with sixteen kids, and Jesus always walked by our side and they all rode to church in the pickup truck. There's a lot of life you can learn on a farm, how to work, how to share, how to give and how to care, like your prayers and your side at our kitchen table. We were fed and clothed. From 1945 to 1961, there were 16 years and 15 blessings, nine girls, six boys, Pat, Bill, Jean, and Charlie, Norma, Jean, and Bernie, Diane, and Teresa, and Marsha, Steve, and Connie, Linda, Joan, Mark, and Carolyn, and in 1968, Down where I was born 
who like the Waltons at your house at nighttime. Yeah. Good night, boys. Good night, girls. Good night, little ones. Good night, Martin. <laughs> then we had a little bit of a tribute thereafter at the end. So if this sounds familiar, it's because it's about you. Martin and Louise had 16 kids and all received their Catholic education here at St. Mike. <laughs> they have 48 grandchildren and 70 great grandchildren and one great great grandchild. And on July 7th of this year, Louise is going to turn 93. And people say that Louise never complains. And she's easy to get along with and she's a good mother. She always is so positive, and she loves praying the rosary. Louise and Martin enjoyed the neighborhood confraternity group where they shared God's word. And they also had a social gathering of friends. And after Martin's death in 1989, Louise attended the Curcio Weekend Retreat. It inspired her in 1992 to join a weekly prayer group. <laughs> some of the single ladies. It was Rita Sir and Rosemary Gruel and Dorothy Shoemaker and Helen Shoemaker and Sister Pat and Norma Jean Newman. <laughs> and Louise still gathers with them to this very day. The deceased ladies of the group included Doris Willenberg, Eleanor Fierty, Pat Warple, and Nadine Castle. Family and friends often request that Louise pray for them during their difficult times. And a friend commented, I think Louise counts her blessings. <laughs> and then she thanks God. And she hands him all the rest. <laughs> and Louise once said, we were never money rich. We always had plenty to eat. We always had each other. And vacation memories include a trip on a Hawaiian cruise for their 40th anniversary, and a trip to Guatemala to celebrate Kurt's wedding, and to California to visit Patty's family. And they also spent three winter months in Texas for three consecutive years. lovingly says, my children take good care of me. My church takes good care of me. And God takes good care of me. What more could you want?